Our penultimate school feature today is Truman State University. They finished the 2023 campaign with a 9-2 and record, finishing runner-up in conference play at 5-2. and The Bulldogs have been picked to finish runner-up this season in a GLVC preseason poll just released. Joining us today is interim head coach Kellen Nesbitt, not new to Kirksville, but he's new to the sidelines as head coach this year. He's also joined by senior offensive lineman Cody Klingensmith and defensive back Jake Klosser. Gentlemen, thank you for joining us today. Coach, give us a few opening comments on how things have been going since you're taking over for your father, the longtime mentor, Greg. So far, I've really enjoyed it. I think it's been going well. Um, I kind of joke around with anybody. Uh, we haven't had to play anybody yet, so it's, it makes it makes it a lot easier, you know, right now. But I think we had a good spring ball. We've had a good summer commitment. I think the guys are enthused and excited about the season. Um, so it's so far, I've, I've enjoyed it. Um, I've enjoyed the new coaches. You know, we had to turn over some quite a few staff members as well. So it's been an exciting time for sure, and, and, and it's been a fun time so far. Is the beard a prerequisite on the sidelines at Truman State? It is not a prerequisite, <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, just three of the 14 returning starters are from the offensive side of the ball, including your all-GLBC second-team tight end, Chris Kerr, as well as your starting right tackle, Cody. Give us some more detail, uh, detailed outlook on the Bulldogs' offense this season with so many starting st- spots to fill. Yeah, it's definitely going to be – it's transition, you know, for sure, including uh, the offensive coordinators new as well in Austin Zoda. So it's a, it'll be a lot new uh, over there. Um, but we think we've got some good, talented young players ready to step in. Uh, to the guys that do have experience that are back are doing a great job trying to be uh, leaders and uh, trying to play at a high level, you know, and help guys that maybe need uh, – you're going to have to go through some fires. So – uh, but I'm excited to watch him in action, and uh, I do think that we'll have some talent and, and hopefully be able to put it together sooner than later. So. Cody, you're entering your senior season, a three-year starter. Talk about how you're preparing for this upcoming season. Um, coming more into a leadership role, I'm kind of taking a, like, a step forward and progressing with the offensive line like solely. Like, all of us are up there over the summer. Uh, I made sure that we all were there because uh, we're such a young group and uh, I want us to get in unity with each other. And just like I said earlier that um, that I could trust any one of them to be a leader on the, on the offensive line, I would put my arms and my faith in them to lead them. So I think us being together and focusing on the, the goals of our team uh, will strive us to be successful this year. Coach, eight starters return on defense, including – The other guy is sitting next to you. Jake is one of four all-conference honorees coming back from last year. That also includes Ulysses Ross, Jack Weltha, and Thomas Spaulding. Give us your thoughts on the defensive side of things, especially with some of the players coming back. Well, you you hope with a little bit more experience on that side of the ball that uh, that we can be ready early, uh, particularly if our offense is is, uh, has some learning curve as they're coming together for the first time. So that. That would be the hope, whether or not <laughs> that's how these early season games play out. Who knows? Maybe the offense comes out guns blazing, you know, and we're still putting it together. But you'd like to think with the eight returning starters and uh, four all-league players that hopefully we can uh, stabilize the program early in the season while we kind of get to know ourselves and go from that standpoint. So we certainly have a high expectation on that unit and uh, feel like we'll, we'll have a chance to be, be competitive. Jake, you had 38 tackles last year, two interceptions and a fumble recovery. You're joined by so many other defensive stalwarts and all-conference honorees. What is the outlook for you on the defensive side of the ball with those players coming back? Yeah, I'm really excited. Um, I still kind of feel like a young guy, even though I'm a senior this year, because we got some fifth-year guys coming back. Um, Peyton Carr, Brock Jones, Chase Jones, just in the DB room, all older than me. Um, We have a lot of veteran leadership just throughout the whole defense, too. So I feel like... If one person um, doesn't have such a good game or something, the other other 10 guys can pick them up. And so I'm really excited about it. Thank you. Coach, give us your thoughts on special teams. You have three key starters coming back uh, with your punter, Mason Gessert, kicker, Vinny Calvaruso, and kick returner, Jerry Martin Jr. Talk about the trio and the other supporting group you have around them. Yeah, we're uh, excited about that season, or that, that part of our team this season. Um, Typically, we've been fairly strong in the special teams, so we hope to be able to keep that going. Um, 
Mason. Uh, hopefully he's ready to take strides. He had a good year as a first-year starter for us last year. Hopefully he'll take a few more strides. Uh, Vinny had an excellent year last year doing the kickoffs, and now he'll do the place kicking as well. So that'll be new for him. So hopefully he can relax and settle into that role. And then uh, we've got a, quite a few different uh, returns, including Jake. You know, Jake will be getting a nod back there because Ben Thomas, one of our three seniors on defense that we lost, was our punt returner. So Jake would be in the mix right there to be the new punt returner. But we've got, we feel like we have some good returner uh, guys that we're going to have a chance to give a chance, uh, give them a chance early and kind of see who overtakes, you know, as, we're, as we head into it. Coach, finally, before we let you go, looking at your schedule, give us your thoughts on what's ahead for you this fall. Well, I think it's going to be a tough early schedule, um, and every game's tough once you get into the season. But with Finley in an opener, uh, and then we open conference play week two at UND, and then we're up to Saginaw Valley. Um, it's just, you know, right away we're going to need to have a really good camp. Uh, we're going to have to get going early and find ways to be competitive and win some games, you know, regardless of the circumstances of may, hope, you know, hopefully we're playing great football, you know, but if one side's struggling like Jake's talking about or a few position segments are struggling, hopefully we can uh, pick each other up and find ways to be successful, you know, as, as we play a, a very tough early season schedule. Gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us here on the GLBC Sports Network and best of luck to you this season.